Hello everyone and welcome to the BNI Early Bird Dubai podcast. And uh, today is a wonderful day and we have our guest uh, Mr. Vipin Sharma. Uh and I am Jay Thanki your host for today. Uh so I will give a quick introduction about Vipin. Uh Vipin has 25 years of experience in marketing, retail, distribution, banking and currently he's in real estate. And uh, he's worked with amazing brands like ICICI Bank, Barclays, Park Hyatt before he joined Coldwell Banker which is the world's biggest brand in real estate. Uh he also holds a Guinness Book world record with his 24 hour tennis tournament. It's a marathon that was there for the Guinness records and uh, I welcome Vipin Sharma from Coldwell Banker. He is the real estate doctor as we say. Uh so welcome Vipin. How are you doing today? Thank you Jay. Thank you so much. Yes, I'm uh, doing very well. Great. So uh so Vipin, you know, real estate is something that uh, catches attention of everyone in Dubai and we are sitting in the hot spot of real estate uh you know in the world. Everyone wants to come to Dubai, you know, everyone's reading about real estate, but still it looks a mystery to many people, all right? And so that is the reason why you know we thought uh, let's discuss from the man himself, uh you know, uh Mr. Vipin. So um So we've been tell me how is the real estate uh, doing in Dubai right now Well a real real estate market is thriving at the moment uh there's rapid uh, requirement ra- rapid demand in the market and there is a lot of interest from the international b- buyers around the world and that is bringing in a great growth story of Dubai from the uh, 2020 after the covid till 2024 the growth has been happening a lot of uh, investors were thinking at the end of 2023 there'll be a bit of lull in the real estate market but there's nothing we are almost growing by 15% uh, in dubai in terms of real estate now so uh, agreed vipin you know everyone uh, is interested uh, so tell me something which is keen to all of us like you know where do i put my money in real estate where do i invest which are the top locations So uh, I've been explaining it to a lot of my investors right now. The current focus of all the investors and the industry is uh, a place where the new airport of Dubai is going to be there. It's called Al Maktoum International Airport and the communities that are around that would definitely benefit from this airport. Um uh, I'll tell you the names of those communities which I think are very good. and which will have great uh, demand in future great uh, business uh, real estate companies can do there uh the names are like imar south expo city uh, these are the few projects that are doing exceptionally well uh, or that would do rather exceptionally well in uh, in and around of uh, airport great fantastic i think dubai uh, is the, the entire geography is changing a lot and i think every Uh, five years or every, in fact, three years, the entire uh, topography, the entire location, the prime locations are moving here, uh, and I think it's moving towards south. I guess, as per your conversation. Exactly. So Dubai market is growing. It's been growing since uh, last last thirty years. So in this particular uh, new uh, version of growth, what I think is it is associated with the economic plans of Dubai. Uh, plans like uh, D33 uh, economic uh, agenda of uh, Dubai uh, according to that particular agenda the population of Dubai is slated to be growing by 2.5 million okay. in the next 9 years by uh, 2033 it would be uh, growing by 2.5 million apart from that you will see that the city is going to make different uh, locations where you have a uh, very nice growth from special initiatives about sustainability and innovation okay so um, that is changing dubai a lot okay so uh, you know one question one question that uh, all of us in fact uh, who moved to dubai uh, has been that should i rent or should i buy what do you think vipin about it this is like a question which i'm sure you must be getting asked every day So it all depends on your objective it all depends on how many years you have shifted uh, here for uh, it will also depend on uh, what is the amount you can put into the market plus would you like to go for an offland pop- property or would you like to go for an uh, f- for a ready property in my opinion uh, buying is a good idea always in dubai because real estate market is robust here it's going to give you great returns 
so i will go for uh, this suggestion that as soon as you get an idea about what amount you want to invest in and where exactly you want to invest in uh, you should purchase a property okay sounds sounds good i think uh, uh, we need to definitely evaluate our own uh, finances and the plans in dubai to make a wise decision so uh, vipin what is attracting the so many millionaires you know we keep hearing on the news that you know uh, so many millionaires are moving to dubai what is in dubai that millionaires are just you know rushing towards uh, dubai what is what is it attracting them yeah. so so there are around 6700 millionaires that are going to shift in to dubai in 2024 and uh, why are they shifting here is because the the country is a magnet for doing good business it's allowing that kind of economic freedom for people to come and invest into the market or do business from this particular market ease of doing business is another factor uh a lot of uh, millionaires have also liked the golden visa option they like that uh, because there's a freedom of coming to the country traveling to the co- country anytime living here for some time living in the country they are from and uh they also see the growth pattern apart from that the security of uh, which is there in the country is enormous it's a very secure country uh the location of dubai is such that you can travel to any part of the world very easily you can do business in other parts of the world very easily so these are few of the factors that millionaires like to shift into dubai wonderful wonderful and uh, so one more question you know i and my friends were discussing just yesterday is that uh, you know when i want to buy a property should i go for an off plan project or should i go for a ready property because you know uh, recently one of my friends said he bought a off plan project and it was not up to his expectations when you know it actually was delivered so uh, what do you uh, advise on this vipin so again it's a very relative topic it depends on your objectives uh if you want to buy and live in that particular property um and if you want to um uh, kind of use that house for 10 years or maybe 20 years you should buy a, a ready property uh you should buy somewhere which is a good location you should also look at uh the developer while you buying the property uh also the price point is very important but as you will be living in that particular house it doesn't matter it's Uh, there are a lot of intangibles related to that because you're going to live there your family is going to live there uh, so it should not be an issue uh, off plan you should buy when you want uh, to get a good deal uh, especially investors should buy off plan right now because or or the the people who do not have a mortgage or people who do not have the money ready with them uh to put in uh, uh to buy a ready property those uh, investors should go for uh, an off plan property off plan properties would help because when you entering into the market the pricing is soft you are you are uh, investing in much lesser as what the market rate is for the ready properties apart from that there is a payment plan which the developers provide and uh, it is easy for on your pocket you you can easily pay that amount over a period of time and you'll be ready to move in the next 3 years 4 years 5 years uh, just to give you an example uh, the valley project was launched one of the uh, phases in valley project was launched yesterday and it was launched at 995 per square feet where is the current market rate of the secondary properties there is 1300 per square feet so this kind of a difference of investment you get when you're buying is off plan properties yeah okay sounds good vipin i think uh, you know it is an eye opener for a lot of us who are still uh, uh, you know still not clear about where to buy how to buy also vipin so what do you suggest what should a uh, investor look uh, in terms of choosing a developer uh, you know there are developers who promise and deliver there are developers who promise and may not be delivering up to expectation so what uh, as an investor what should i look while choosing a developer all right so um it's quite similar to while you are investing in stocks or any other investment instrument um you should look at the background of the developer you should look at w- how many projects have they delivered you should go and meet few of the owners of the properties and that locality you should drive through those localities understand you should read through uh what are what is good and what is bad about those communities or or that particular developer 
their top 3 4 developers they, they who have done exceptionally well in dubai imar is the top most uh, amongst them dubai property is very good uh, you have uh, majid al futem uh, which is, which has newly come into the market they are they are very nice um, so these are very nice developers that are there in the market nakil is very good miras is very nice these are the few good developers in the market yeah okay uh, great so uh, which community do you recommend for people looking to invest in dubai so the top community of 2024 according to me is imar south why first of all it is by imar secondly uh, it is 30% ready um, and people are living into that uh, apart from that it is it is it has a 18 hole uh, championship golf course already built into that 7 minutes from there is the world's biggest airport which is called the al maktoum international airport uh the etihad railways would be passing by this particular community and i'm sure they will have a station either in the airport or in the community or maybe at both the places uh imar south is also very close to the jabal ali palm jabal ali uh it is also very close to the biggest port of dubai which is called the jabal ali port apart from that it is very close to the the place where all the trade uh, seminars and events would be shifted in which is in the expo city so this makes imar south one of the best locations to invest in right now uh, and i uh, compare it with uh, things like places like uh, maple uh, which is in in dubai hills uh, i'm t- talking about the town house especially because maple when it was launched the price it was launched at and now what selling at is around 2 to 2.5 times of that that means it's grown by 200 to 250 wow. percent exactly the same thing with imar south i expect the growth to be of that level and it's going to give returns to all the investors while if they want to sell it or if they want to keep it uh with them and get a very good return on investment which i anticipate would be around 18 to 19 percent over a period of time that's my pick for the day amazing weapon i think that really clarifies uh, for the new investors and uh, this opportunity cannot be missed guys thank you weapon for an amazing uh, session where you know you enlightened all of us with your real estate knowledge and that is why we call you the doctor in real estate uh, you know and uh, so thank you weapon thank you so much for your time it was wonderful having a conversation with you and i'm sure all of you uh, will benefit greatly from this uh, podcast and uh, so thank you everyone and see you next time thank you thank you